Hello everybody, I'm Slashin VC. This is Cataclysm. This is our character Mark Crump. He needs an antenna. Cause we want to craft something. Forget what it is. I think it's a um uh, oh yeah, a smart lamp. Uh so I need an antenna. We got a two-way radio here. I'm gonna disassemble the two-way radio. Triclopian puppy. Alright, we got five scrap aluminum and a signal receiver and an antenna out of that. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the um, other one also because if we mess up this craft, and we probably will. Oh, you can further disassemble those parts. The signal receiver that I got out of that contains amplifier circuits, copper wires, electronic scrap circuit boards. Okay. Yeah, you got to remember that um, that whole uh, recursive disassembly concept. All right, I'm going to disassemble this two-way radio also. I'm sure we'll find another one. Migo Scout spotted. See, it's not even possible, but, you know, in my uh, head cannon... Um, Mark wants to contact somebody like Kunji using the two-way radio. That's totally impossible. So I can only play with one character at a time. But, I don't know. It's a neat thought. Something I thought about for an episode at some point. Alright, let's try to uh, get back into this smart lamp here. It says consume these. And that's the one antenna. Yeah, here we go. And, uh... Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, crafting and studying is so much fun when you have coleptic psychosis. And this is why, you know, after this character, I'll get to say, I've done that. I did that. All right, here we go. So we did consume 12 solder, two plastic chunks, electronic scrap, and an amplifier circuit. But I've got more of those, so it should be fine. Yeah, I've been there, done that with the coleptic psychosis. And I'll say this, I've had fun, I've enjoyed it, but never again. Incandescent husks and... Ah, bam. Uh, f oh, fabrication increased to four. I'm looking for electronics. All right, so now we're out of circuit boards. Here's my question. Did we get electronics four from that or not? Electronics, three, 55%. So, we need more circuit boards... Electronic scrap, probably amplifier circuits, definitely circuit boards. Well, we can get those through recursive disassembly, apparently. So let's have a look at what we can take apart that we've already taken apart. Like our transponder circuit will give us pretty much everything we need. Let's take that one apart. I don't think we need it for the um, lamp. It says you feel a little strange. You might be able to learn a recipe for that if you disassemble another one. Well... Do we need a recipe for that? Let's do it. It might be something we can craft that will, um, you know, help our electronic skill. Um, no, it says you might. You might, but you haven't, unfortunately. So anyway, we ought to be able to get back to this. And there we go. We're about 60% of the way toward getting that crafted. Oh, you know what I haven't done is uh, start my mission timer. Bam. Mission timer activated. 75%. This is going rather well, actually. Razor Claw spotted. Migo Slaver. There went our extra spare antenna. The Elite Zombie Bioapparator. The Centipede Matriarch. The Main Queen Kitten. The Plague Vector. At least this. Coleptic Psychosis has given me some clue what the bestiary actually looks like. Alright, so, once again, we're out of antennas. Now, let's drop this uh, in-progress disassembly over here. I think we should craft a, um, a ladder to get onto roofs so that I can get some of the things off the roofs. This is something I was considering anyway for solar panels. Let me look for a ladder here. I think we've got all the components we need. Nope, we need planks and nails. Well, those we can get really quick. So let's drag some planks and nails up here. And then we'll go take down some um, radar dishes, I think, for antennas. would probably be an easy way to do it. We can also kind of uh, step out here 
and hit capital V and then run that through a filter and say we're looking for antenna. There are none and we could filter for radio since we know we can disassemble those. We can basically check all these dead bodies for radios too. As far as planks and nails goes, they're laying everywhere. Six planks there. Oh, I know where we can get them uh, in bulk. Now that's the uh, burned house over here. Or the burned uh, smoking lounge. Feral human spotted. Let's grab our weapon then. See if anybody's got a radio. Nope. Alright, so what do we got on here? 13 nails right there. One day I'm going to drag all this glass somewhere. Oh, I see. So all this rubble really needs to be sorted through if I was to get the... Uh, there's the nails, and I'm going to drag the planks. So we'll use the advanced manager here. And uh, my direction is going to be that way, I guess, for the planks. And that way is empty. Here we go. Like this. There. Now I kind of got the planks out of the stack. Yeah, I would have to uh, cull all this rubble. If I wanted to get the stuff out of it. That's kind of inconvenient. We've got nails galore, but I'd say the planks are probably in the rubble, huh? It's okay, we got lots of stuff we can smash to get those planks. Won't take a minute. I got burnt planks. I bet they don't count. Copper tubing there. So, how many nails did we wind up with? That's 125 nails. That'll more than do it. Still don't see any radios. And how are we doing on zombies? Feral human hasn't spotted us yet, so we'll just leave him alone. For some reason, Mark thinks he's a little unhappy. Uh-oh. Mego Scout. The hallucinated Mego Scout has disappeared. I was going to see if I could pull any more uh, planks out of this mess. But I think they're all burnt. Yep, those are all burnt. Got some wooden panels and burnt wooden panels and badly burnt planks and so on. Yeah, okay, we got plenty of nails. I'm just going to grab these planks and... Oh, the Mouseketeer. See if I can carry these. No, nope, couldn't carry all of them. How many did I get? One. All right, I'm going to drag these planks back. We'll assemble a ladder and then we'll climb up on some roofs. That'll be fun. That's my new focus. You know, I think I, I came into this game thinking, I'm going to kick this game's butt. <laughs> nope, that's not going to happen. I came into this thinking, I'm going to win this game. No, there's no win condition, slash him. There's no win condition. Calm down. I'm going to get in this game and really do something. Well, now that might happen. I might do something. Uh, but kicking this game's good butt is not going to be one of those things. I had to have a uh, I had to have a meeting with myself. Wait, deranged X man. Oh, good, he disappeared because he could have been real. <laughs> uh, I had to have a meeting with myself. Uh, hey, Slashem, why are we playing this game? Oh yeah, for enjoyment. You remember that little thing called fun? Oh yeah, fun. I forgot about fun. What do we got here? Yep, 15 planks right there. We'll once again use the advanced inventory management system. East and west. Okay, yeah, that's good. <clears throat> 15 planks. There we go. I don't know what we needed to make a ladder, but we have got plenty now. A bar ghast. No clue what that is. We could have fun reading the uh, monster descriptions, I guess. Because one of these days, man, once the evolution fully takes hold, they will be real. Alright, I'm going to quit hauling that stuff. I think I'm going to drop all my nails right here because I don't need to carry them around. 
Now we should be able to craft ladder. Wooden step ladder. Yep, I needed 12 planks. This is a fabrication three, and I don't have the basic carpentry required. So this is probably going to take longer to craft than that electronic scrap wood, but we'll see. It's going to be nice. The mad militiaman. I love it. The war mouth. It's weird how Mark is going from being tired. Okay, we got the step ladder. Excellent. Just gonna eat some cookies. Drink some water. All right. Now Mark isn't so tired that he can't do something productive, I don't think. So let's wield the ladder. Which, surprise, surprise. It, attacking with your wooden stepladder will take a long time. Yes, I. it did take a long time. I just watched the uh, minute and second counter roll. As I tried to, as I tried to attack a hallucinatory or a hallucinated yellow chick with a wooden stepladder, and Mark actually wasted a bunch of time on that. Wow. Just wow, Mark. Can I go through a window carrying this? I actually can. That's cool. Now, I'm not sure how this works. I tried to do one down a hole, and that didn't work. I'm going to try applying it. I want to deploy it. Deploy where? Can I deploy it into the wall? No. Do I have to deploy it right there? And then if I step on it, can I go up on it? And can I climb west? Okay, great. My carried weight made that more difficult, allegedly. See, I thought there was... No, there's just a solar panel up here. Well, that's okay. There's radar dishes other places. Yeah, there's a... Uh, or an antenna. I'm sorry. Why do I call it a radar dish? I don't know. It's an antenna. I ought to be able to um, examine that. I don't want to connect it to the grid. Do I have to grab it like this? No, I have to deconstruct it. I can't do that because I don't have a prying tool. Okay, I need to go get a prying tool and grab that solar panel. Now here's the question. Can we get back down the ladder? Really step into the ledge. Okay, do I examine the ladder? There we go. Climb down. Okay, that went okay. And I'd... Carried weight makes it harder to climb. Well, we'll take our backpack off next time, okay? Now I should have, what, examine the ladder? Okay, yeah, and that takes it down. I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to grab this pry bar that I left laying here just for my own convenience. I think that's got enough prying. Here, drop your backpack right here to be a little lighter. We'll go up and climb west. It still says my carried weight made that difficult. Okay, now, up, oh, ah, but my screwdriver was in my backpack. I really hope Mark doesn't fall off. That would suck. I want to grab what, my multi-tool probably. I think this one is the one that has the screw driving. It's got level one screw driving. Let's grab the multi-tool. Go back up there. I really feel like I'm on borrowed time every time I go down. Because Mark has fallen before. Okay, now I can deconstruct the solar panel. Great. Now I can't get it because it doesn't fit in any pocket, but I should be able to wield it. One question I have is whether I would be better off dropping it, or would it get damaged? 
Let's try climbing down with it. You feel the weight of your luggage makes it more difficult to climb. Your wet feet make it harder to climb. I may want to uh, clean those wet feet. Alright, so we have this solar panel, which eventually we're going to mount somehow in some way to our hippie van. So I'm going to drop the solar panel here for later. And then what I really want to do is go examine that uh, the next roof over. So we ought to be able to wear our backpack and then take down the step ladder, then wield it. There we go. Look how far Mark has come. I wonder if there's a safer place to set this up, you know? Is there like more or less safe places? If I set it near that drain, I'll probably I'm just going to I'm just going to deploy it right here. I don't know that it matters. We'll try um I'll drop the backpack. I want to make sure I've got the multi-tool still on me, which I do. And then we'll go up on the roof like so. Here we go. What is that? That's a vent pipe. And this is a rotary wind turbine that will catch the wind and pull air out from the inside. wonder what disassembling those would yield. Anyway, right now, we're kind of mainly interested in this thing right here. It's a TV antenna. So let's see if we can deconstruct that. And it looks like it took Mark less than an hour, but it only yielded chunks of steel and copper wire. That's strange. Huh? Okay, so I've got all the tools I need to deconstruct that. But it's not going to let me do it. Satellite dish. So it won't let me deconstruct a satellite dish. And a cell phone signal booster. Will it let me deconstruct that? It will. I don't think it's an issue of my tools either. I don't know what the problem is. It's just not deconstructible, I guess. We'll smash it and see if an antenna comes out. Hey! There we go. Cell phone receiver had the things we needed. So, two antennas. I really can use the rest of the stuff too, but I don't have my backpack on, so. Let's wield the bull. And... I mean, sorry, the Iron Shod Quarterstaff that I thought I made an episode out of crafting and then later found out that I hadn't. Copper wire, plastic chunks, and a power converter. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want all this stuff, so I may need to come back up here with my backpack. I guess we'll go get the backpack. I'm just paranoid about falling off, but I guess worst case scenario. You know, we get injured, we have to sleep. It's not like we haven't fallen off before. Let's go grab all this stuff. Because, do we need the chunks of steel? Probably not. I'm going to grab the wire. Oop. That is hilarious. There we go. And this was the mother load for our electronics crafting. Where we get the power converter there. Then here, amplifier circuit and a circuit board and another power converter. It's all good stuff. What does that smash into? Metal sheets. Alright, you people looking for metal sheets. That gives them. What does this give? Pipes and scrap metal. Alright, you guys looking for pipes. Look how much good a roof can give you. From steel chunks to pipes to uh, sheets. Whatever you need. It's up there. I just want to see if it's deconstructible. It actually is, and if it gives different things. We're doing science. Uh, pretty much the same stuff there. We can deconstruct this also. And while we've got a little daylight, I'm just going to do it for science. Uh... 
pretty much the same stuff. Maybe more, because it's got metal sheets. These are actually small metal sheets. Let's see if it tells me I can craft anything with small metal sheets, just out of curiosity. Yeah. So, a bucket kind of stands out to me. Block and tackle. Ooh. Small metal box, toolbox, workbench can be crafted with small metal sheets. Hmm. Let's put this on the map. Is that Gary? It's Gary. We're about to release the Gary very soon. Metal sheets are on this roof. And we did not fall. Hooray. Thank goodness. I'm seeing a zombie. Oh, he saw me too. And having a look at what's laying around here real quick. Whole lot of stuff. All right. And that's because these bodies have either wandered off or rotted away. I think they've possibly wandered off. The reason I say that is because um, I would expect to find bones. Where a lot of these items are laying here. There used to be a zombie corpse here, obviously. But there are no bones. I think these corpses have wandered off. I was going to kill this fat zombie really quick. And we've got this decayed one, too. Wow. Oh, it's because I'm tired. My weariness is very... <gasps> Shocker, brute. Oh, dear. Let's pick up a run. Let's try to get away. Is he real? This is the problem with Coleptic Psychosis. For sure. Death Rattle Serpent may or may not be there. Shocker Brute may or may not be there. A huge beast covered in visible scarling from what you can only guess was research. Being near it, you can hear a humming like that of an electrical transformer. Not good. Okay, we need to um, make it to that alley, I think, in case he's real. Oh crap, he's fast. Or he was very... Oh, he disappeared. Oh, thank God he wasn't real. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, my weary malice has made it to plus 300%. So we are... Way too tired for this stuff, guys. Let's... Cl uh, lock the doors shut. Head upstairs. Let's drop the quarterstaff and stop the bleeding. Okay. Wow. What a trip out. But you know, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Let's close the windows. It's about, what, 5.30 p.m.? So this is a good time to go to sleep anyway. Let's put Mark to bed. And he went right to sleep. Very good. Yeah, wow. See, here's the thing, you know. We've gotten to the point where it's not out of the realm. I've seen Brutes. I've seen a pupating brute so far and a regular old zombie brute. So we're at the point now where a shocker brute, not out of the realm to be actually there. So my hallucinations begin to blend in with some of these evolved creatures and um, uh, the guilt fell down a ledge 68 times. What? Wow. Best easy, Mark. Things are returning to normal. Great. By 9 p.m. I'm going to take a pause here until Mark wakes up, and I will be right back. All right. And we're back. Mark got a good night of sleep. I had to put on the shooter's earmuffs. I need to take those back off. So Mark can hear again. We don't want to forget to do that. Go ahead and open the windows and let the sunlight in. 
Mark's psychotic episode came to an end even. That was nice. So maybe we can craft in peace. Should we just eat some peanut butter? How about ravioli? That sounds good. And mushroom soup? Mushroom soup. Alright, let's eat some more mushroom soup. Great. Let's return to the smart lamp. We have made a smart lamp. And I have memorized the recipe. I want to examine this thing. I'm not really sure it can be activated remotely. How oh, cool. So it's made from... It tells me what it's made from. Okay. And it can be activated by a radio signal. Hmm. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> hmm. Do we uh, deploy it? Do we have to plug it in? If we have to plug it in, I say we get this trash can out of the way. There we go. And we can deploy our lamp. It needs at least one charge. Okay, we don't activate it. Uh, it's probably the build menu. Let's look at lamp. Yep, place standing lamp. Nope, that is not it. Um, okay, do we drop the lamp over here like so? And then, do we activate it? Do we examine it? Here we go. Nope, that's the fridge. Hmm. What do we do with this thing? I can get it. Okay, it's in our inventory. And so then, let's uh, have a look at it. If I activate it, it has zero charges, but needs one. So does it need to be reloaded with a battery? Is that the deal? Reload the smart lamp using... One of these light batteries? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, can I... Um, sorry, I didn't see where it goes. There we go. Activate it. Okay, it's on. And then if I drop it... If I drop it over here... There we go. Now... Can I examine it or activate it remotely like this? Whoops. <laughs> Wrong. There. And I turned it off. There you go. So you can manually turn it on and off. All right. Well, we'll use that while we're reading, I guess. The question is, what did that do for our electronic skill? Electronics. Now, 77%. We are almost there. Okay. We're going to search for something electronical that we can craft. We could craft another smart lamp. Or we could disassemble the one we have and recraft it. Okay, here's a high skill one. The conversion mod we've done. Electric chainsaw. Oops. So as far as the electric chainsaw goes, we just need a steel chain that we don't have. And the food dehydrator takes a lot of skill. I need... I'm short a power converter, which we can actually get. I want to make a food dehydrator, I think. So I've got a soldering iron. I think it just needs to be reloaded. Let's see. It's probably over here. Have we been through this before? I think we've been through this before. I don't know where my soldering iron got off to. Wait a minute. Go look in this other pile here. I mean, I just know we had one. I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt because I practiced my soldering with it. Uh, the problem is probably that it just doesn't have solder, but so it's, it's not giving me the option to reload a soldering iron because I don't have solder, I'm guessing. 
Let's look here. Yeah, there's the soldering iron. It's right next to me. But I guess I'm out of solder. Uh, let's see if we can find solder. Okay. No, we got a whole bunch of solder right there. Oh, I know what it is. My bad. See, we just keep doing this stuff. Eventually, we learn. Um, okay, I'm going to have to wield soldering iron. Okay, and then we're going to have to put a battery in it. There we go. And then we should be able to craft... Whoops, wrong. We should be able to craft... Um, what was that again? It was a food dehydrator. There. Should have everything now. Oh, except the power converter. So let's see if we can disassemble something for that power converter. Um, power converter. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at there. You can disassemble an electric blanket. Five heating elements will come out of that. I have three entrenching tools. That's crazy. Okay, I'm not seeing power converters here. Let's go have a look at our electronics pile. Or whatever this is. That's uh, clothing. This is electronics. Huh? Am I standing on my books? No, it's just giving me that list. Okay. Let's see if we can get a power converter out of any of this stuff. Hmm, no. Not seeing it. So, we probably just do another smart lamp then. Here's a processor and stuff. Yep. Guess that's the path we're going to have to take. So let's stand over the smart lamp and see if we can disassemble that. Should be able to. Let me search for lamp. There. Yep, I'm going to disassemble the smart lamp we just made. Which, I don't know if disassembly practices your electronics or not. If it does, we'll just make double progress on this. Because it's a level 4 electronics skill. Boy, you guys who build your death mobiles, I want to be one of you. You got to earn these damn skills, especially with Coleptic Psychosis. Mark Crump says, this place is dangerous. You shouldn't be here. Let's drag all this crap over here. We're going to craft the lamp again. And this may put us over the top. Because I think we got about 25% out of it last time. And we got about 24% to go. So with any luck, by about noon, should have the requisite skills. Yes, my theoretical understanding of electronics has increased to four. Now give me the practical skill. Consume the ingredients. Yes, your practical skill in electronics has increased to four. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have mechanics four, electronics four. It's time to go take the security system out of that hippie van. Aw, oh, man, this is a big moment for me. This is like five episodes or so. I don't know how long we've been working on this, but we've been working on it for a while. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the lamp crafted just because I don't want to... Um, I don't want to leave it unfinished, you know? Plus, I don't know what to do with all these, like, the in-progress disassemblies that are laying around. 
that you gotta basically what? Do you put them in a fire and burn them to get rid of the dang things or what? And it feels like your ingredients are tied up in the in progress disassembly too. So I should probably figure out how you like abort those correctly. But anyway, all right, we made the smart lamp. Hooray. Let's drop everything we don't really need. Like, um, oh, we could eat that ravioli. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, no, I got nothing to really drop, actually. Uh, it's all good. What is that? As an imp uh, it's just some mis miscellaneous crap. Okay, next thing is we need some tools to work on that car with. I'm not sure what I need yet to pull that out, so let's go have a look. Oh, hell yeah, guys. I'm so happy right now. Just in case there's evil down there, let's um, get the weapon out. Now, we got to figure out the security system is right there, and I want to remove it. So I'm going to hit O, and I'm going to highlight the security system. I need a tool with fine screw driving, and that's it. Mechanics 4, electronics 4. Do it. Yes. Mark, you are a genius. What came out of that? The processor board came out of that. That means now, if I examine this vehicle, is there anything that requires mending? No, there is not. So the only thing that leaves me with for considerations is like I could mend the frames possibly and like I've got a 17 inch wheel that's looking a little rough and two corners of this frame are looking a little rough but other than that not terrible I mean the back seats in bad condition okay so speaking of the back seat as we try to get Mark in a position where he can uh, really kick butt first of all i'm curious what it would take to mount a weapon on this thing now if it's too involved we're not going to do it because i really want mark to escape the city i think i'm seeing something on my mini map here yeah hey look a revivified foe He had a comic book on him. It can be understood by beginners, and you need to read it to see its contents. We need a comic book. That sounds great. We got some antiparasitics and bandages, shelled pistachios. He was wearing a military rucksack. I'll be darned. There was one other zombie in the area. Okay, good. We're alone for now. Um, inside the hippie van, let's have a look here. What we've got is two trunk spaces. We've got this big um, area here to sleep on. This is the back seat. I need to put a pillow and a blanket there. We'll plan on sleeping there. Now, the thing that uh, Kanji went for was to put up curtains and stuff, but we may put up just some aisle curtains between the seats and the bed here. And I don't know if you can see through this. This is a uh, sliding door. I don't know if it comes with a window. It might. Um, let's look here. Sliding door is right here. There. It says metal framework. There, sliding door. A window lets you see through it when it is closed. So there you go. That was the problem with Kunji's... Um, SUV also is that the uh, trunk sections if we look at these trunk doors here if you read the description on the trunk doors let's go ahead and do that just for fun because we're learning we're still learning trunk door it says a metal pipe now that's a muffler excuse me trunk door you can always see over it open or closed <clears throat> in other words it lets in light so a person would have to put curtains over that also if he wanted to sleep in here during the day or i could put aisle curtains up possibly and then but anyway i'm not going to think about it too hard the 
point is we're going to leave the city in this thing, not that we're necessarily going to live in it like Kunji's going to eventually live in his uh, prison van. Oh, I know what I want to look at. I want to examine the possibility of, let's say, hovering over, hmm, let's say, I don't know what, this section right here and maybe installing some kind of gun. I may have to have a gun on me in order to uh, look at that. It's probably called mounted, I'm, I'm going to guess. Uh, motorcycle, kickstand, rail wheels, raft boat hole. Oh, yes, and we need to uh, make a roof mounted um, solar panel, probably. This is all reinforced stuff. Okay. What else can we put on this vehicle now? We are ready to. There, turret mount. <clears throat> you have to have mechanics of one is all it takes. Got to bring my torch down here. And there may be other requirements that I can't see because I just can't scroll. Oh, here we go. Additional requirements, strength of one. The same tile as a turret mount and fire the weapon. Rotating universal mount for a weapon. If your hands are empty, you can stand on the same tile as the turret mount and fire the weapon now interestingly it doesn't talk about a required weapon but we could build this turret mount all we need is oh it says it requires okay we need to craft a turret mount first and bring it down here and then bring our brazing rods and acetylene torch and that's about it so I think I may mount a weapon on this vehicle which will also be good practice for Kunji because on Kunji's character I want to mount the flamethrower to his. But on this one, I think maybe we'll use one of those heavy military rifles. And uh, that'll just be for like emergencies. Okay, and I may want to mount a solar panel here. So that requires mechanics for bolt turning. And that's about it. Sweet. Well, we ought to probably be able to do that right now. Actually, it says I've got a nearby solar panel that I can mount with let's make sure this is where we want it i mean i don't know does it matter where we put it if i put it behind the seats is that going to be an issue i don't know let's try it so these are the seats and this is the couch and i'm standing on this square and the door is here so this is where i think i want it so if i say i want to install that solar panel let's see how it goes So it's 11 a.m. This is going rather well. Okay, allegedly it has been installed. Now, my question is, it says you install a solar panel into the hippie van. It's not visible. I don't see it here. Also, oh, that's the processor board. Where did it? Oh, it used the solar panel I had just outside there. So now, if I, let's say... Well, the engine failed to start, but that's okay. It's got gasoline and battery. It's just had some issue that doesn't need to be mended. Um, I'm curious how I see, like, the, uh, I think I need to install the battery recharger in here somewhere. So there's the solar panel. Now let's see, it'll give us a description. Provides up to 50 watts when exposed to the sun. Weather and clouds will affect power generation. It's, I'm seeing batteries plus 14. Does that mean there's some electrical flow going on? Uh, if I hit this button, I don't know why it automatically wants to start the vehicle. I thought it would give me more options. Anyway, whatever. Maybe once the vehicle is started, it'll give me more options. All right. So I think we should go get the battery recharger and put it in there. That way we can charge up our batteries in the van. We've got this pile of stuff right here, which is meant to go with me into the storage 
part of the hippie van. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this stuff. And I think I had some things here too. Yeah, gasoline needs to go in there too. So let's go fill it up with gasoline and haul these uh, essential items. Um, Let's store the quarter staff in the spear strap. Might make hauling a little faster. Where is this fat zombie that I keep seeing? Oh, he's right outside. All right, stop hauling. What's up? Speaking of bodies getting up and walking around, right? This guy had 10 cigarettes on him. Right now, Kanji Gurakawa would give anything for 100 cigarettes. And there's 10 right there. Your hands are not free. Right. I'll put the Iron Shod Quarterstaff back up for now. How slow am I hauling? Let's see. Every step takes a couple minutes. 19, 30, 20, 55, 22, 11. It's like a minute and a half to move one square. That's okay. We'll get there. And actually... Hey, I thought my hippie van was a favorited vehicle. Remember its location? It's not. Oh no! Oh, I did it now. I stepped on a bunch of debris. There we go. We don't want the splintered wood. <laughs> eh, that's all that was there. Not too big of a deal. Alright. Painfully, slowly hauling everything. But now we can see about mounting... Oh no, we need to see about crafting a turret. Let me look this up. Turret. Okay, I got no recipe for a turret. That'll be a, a quick check of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cataclysm, I believe. How far away is this zombie we spotted? We don't have one. Okay. Now, once we get to the trunk section... I don't think it'll let me haul it up into the trunk like so. Let me try it. Yeah, you can't haul them like that. So then what you have to do is use your inventory manager like this. But I'm not sure even this works. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It'll put them in the trunk. Now, can I hit comma? Yeah. And that'll move everything. It's good. Except it didn't move the gallon-sized zipper bag for some reason. Ah, oh, because it's a favorited item. Very good. So everything's working as expected. I'm going to grab this uh, gallon jug of gasoline. Huh? Can't grab the gallon jug. Oh, it doesn't fit in any pocket. All right, wield it. Wait, do we have our rubber hose on us? Should. I usually keep it on me. Actually, I don't. Let's look and see if the hose is in here. No, it's not. Okay, so we can't siphon right now anyway. We got a little bit of gasoline we can fill this thing up with. I just got to go grab my rubber hose. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm having fun now. Let's see if we can view for the hose. Yep, there's four of them right there. Grab me a hose. Okay, I have a question. What do I have? Did I take off my backpack? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Where did I take off my backpack? I don't remember taking off my backpack. I'll bet you guys remember me taking off my backpack. Let's see if it said so on the map. I probably did. Backpack right next door. Okay. Now this is why I can't hold anything. I took it off over here, didn't I? There it is. I think that's mine. Yeah. 
Okay, that was a close call. Shoot fire. I could easily, um, totally forget where I left that. Thank God it drops a map note when you drop a favorite item. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need a rubber hose. I just need one of these. Then we can go down here and put some gas in the hippie van. Then I'll probably take a pause and quickly look up on um, Hitchhiker's Guide. How to make a turret. And if it's going to be too involved, we just won't do it. Is that... I can't... Can I pick that up? Yeah, I can pick that up. And uh, can I get now the other thing? Yeah, I can get this gallon jug too. So now I know what I do. I examine the vehicle like so, and then I say I want to refill, and then I indicate the tank I want to refill, and then I indicate what I want to refill it from, and then I can do that again with my other container. Okay, now we're at 4.7 liters and or that means 7% gasoline. I'm getting 5% battery per hour, I think from the solar panel. Yeah, 15 hours until full. Sweet. Okay, the other thing we wanted to install, I've got the ingredients in here. So if I examine my vehicle and I say I want to install something, let's say on this square here. And what I was thinking of was the recharger. Uh, we may have to look for it this way though. Look real quick. You can get a heated tank. Huh. We could get... Oh, the steam engines. I really want to make a steam boat. I think that would be fun. A, a programmable autopilot. What? A computer system hooked up to the steering and engine of the vehicle to allow it to follow paths. That's pretty wild. Rebar reinforcement. Armor plate. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That only requires mechanics, too. We can do that. Refrigerated tank. See, now that we've got mechanics for electronics for, I'm really looking at this list because it's like, wow, I can do some of this stuff. Spiked plating. Mechanics 3. A spiked plate that will increase the damage delivered to someone else in collisions. Oh, man. That's cool. Now you gotta craft spiked plating first, I assume. I have to look at that. So we can install drums and here we go. Tool battery mount. I have one of these. Uh, mount for batteries, usually used in handheld tools. Allows quick removal or addition of such batteries into the vehicular power grid. Yeah, we have a tool battery mount. I need to go grab it though. That wasn't in the stack that we hauled down here. Towel hanger. I should probably do that. I should probably do that because we need somewhere to hang our towel. Tracking device. Let's you locate the vehicle on the map. That's pretty cool. And the turret mount we want to do requires a turret mount. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. We got vehicle tanks, water faucets, water purifiers, which require water purifiers. So pretty much... If it's a vehicle component, then it's installable. What is this we had right here? We had a vehicle component. We only had one of them. Here it is, the battery charger. So I didn't see that on my list. Let's examine that. It could easily be wired into a vehicle. It will slowly charge all rechargeable batteries placed directly within its storage space. It can only be installed onto existing storage compartments. Aha! That means we can install it by doing this. We have to select this trunk compartment right here, which is empty. Okay, so then if I highlight that and select install, I can put in the battery charger. I wonder if it'll take up all of the storage space or not. Okay, that's been installed. Now, let me examine it. Okay, there's a battery charger there. And I've still got the 200 liters of trunk storage. So that's great. I thought I had some batteries on me from all that battery reloading that I did. Let's see if I've still got batteries on me that could go in there. I don't. Okay, so we now have a solar panel generating power. We have a battery recharger. 
Uh, the next thing is some kind of defensive weaponry or um, spiked plating. Let me look under my recipes here for spiked. Yeah, we can craft spiked plating. However, we need a rock. I mean, like a large boulder, which has an anvil quality of three, correct? The acetylene torch. I need some steel plating, eight lumps of steel, 12 scrap metal, four chunks of steel, or four spikes. That's not that hard. And actually, we don't even need the arc welder. We could make a rock forge. If we go, here's my thinking. Here's my thinking. On our map, in some of these parks, yeah, like this one right here. Does this one have a large rock? Some of them do. Some of them don't, I think. Or we may be able to bash one of these statues and turn it into a uh, area. But I was going to set up a rock forge where they have one of those uh, large rocks. Some of these, okay, these are empty fields. Some of these empty fields have large rocks. I think either this public garden or this empty field up here or somewhere. So in between episodes, because we're getting close to the end of our mission timer, unfortunately. In between episodes, I'm going to pick a place where I can actually set up a rock forge next to a rock that I can use as an anvil. Okay, see, so here's a. this is not what I'm thinking. That has level 1 anvil quality because it's a small boulder. I need a large boulder. I think I can use a large boulder as an anvil. And actually, I was watching uh, Sean Severhead play the other night. And that dude found out you can actually grab and roll boulders if you have enough strength. Which is pretty dang cool. I thought, oh hell, I don't have to set up right where the rock is if I could roll it some. Don't see a boulder here. I thought there was one. What about this statue here? A massive block of stone that has been carefully carved into a timeless art. Question, if I smash that with a home wrecker, which I do have, if I smash that with a home wrecker, do I wind up with something I can use as an anvil? Because that would be cool. And I think that's worth investigating. Because, hey, who doesn't want spiked plating on their vehicle, right? So this is it. And as a... Uh, as a symbol of our victory, I think I want to unleash the Gary now. Of course, the problem is he's going to follow me everywhere and get in the way. And get into fights that I want to get into. But I think, you know, we still have some siphoning to do, I think. We need to go ahead and siphon all we can siphon from all around. I'll do that between episodes. Tell you what I'll promise is this. Is I, I think I can promise that next episode... We release the Gary. We drive out of this damn town. But I got a lot of footwork to do in between episodes. Um, see if I want to set up a rock forge. If I do, I'll do that on camera. But I need to sort through all the items in Mark's base and really decide what got to go in that van because we're going to be gone for a while. We'll still be using this as a base when we come back to town, I'm sure. But for now, our chosen exit will be this route right here. And then uh, we're going to go this way and then this way. And then we're going to find somewhere to set up. Whether it's a cave or a house on the outskirts or whatever. Hey, what's this? Oh, I didn't know about a Triffid Grove over there. Interesting. Uh, yeah, because our ultimate destination is all the way up here in Dyerbrook. So we'll probably do a little exploring north as soon as we get a chance. But we will uh, we'll try to get our characters on the highway in the next episode. I thank you for joining me for this episode. And uh, in between time, y'all take care.